So, once the peak goes up, you got to go on the outside of the red tree. Okay. They're going to go from that big tree, so anything on that side of the big tree. So. The construction area. Going that construction area. Yeah. This is the construction area. They're going to bring in equipment. Okay. So you don't get hurt. And so no one gets hurt. Okay. okay. So or I could just go back to sleep, right? No. Why not? It's a construction area where I need to leave. Go on the opposite side of the red tape, please. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna take it. We're, we're gonna, gonna take it on that side and film whatever you want on the opposite side. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking to you. No, I, I'm I allowed to talk to you. I'm, you can talk to me on that side. But okay, the well, then come on along with me. Let's go. Okay, so in don't section demand, 10. Don't demand. Okay. Section 10. What do you mean, don't demand? Don't demand stuff from me. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> no, no, no. This okay. Yahoo here. I need you need to move on you want to get stupid with me? I need to go on. <laughs> don't think you're all bad. God damn, Santos, you should know better. So again, I didn't demand, I asked a question. Don't fucking search shit. Don't think you're all fucking bad ass, man. I asked you a fucking question. Now come here. No, you said you would, you said. Hey man, you said you'd talk to me. You said you'd talk to me. Well then come on down here. Oh shit, fuck you, man. Little bitch. Disrespectful motherfucker. Okay? Yeah, well, I hit. Hey, it's called freedom of speech. You disrespect me, I'll disrespect you. you. I asked you if I can ask a question. You said yes. Walk with me. I did. You lied to me and started shit. Fuck you. Act like a real cop. Act like someone that gives a fuck about people. What the fuck are you laughing and joking around and shit about while you're fucking breaking the... Breaking the, your own state fucking constitution. This is bullshit. You think this shit's funny? Is this a fucking game? If you want to keep people oh, calm, no don't lie. Do don't start shit. You get a real fucking job, you piece of garbage. That's why I got this tape up. Next time you point your finger at me, use it. Do something. Be a man. Yeah, you. You get fucking verbal like that, point your finger at me, do so. Or shut the fuck up, be a person of, this, of your uniform, and do your damn job. You said you talked to me, you said I can ask a question if I walked with you. I did. Then you got shitty. Fuck. Badges and guns. Badges. I, love, I love how you guys, you know, when you try to pick this up, put a gun on my side. Like, here, 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 go through. It's bullshit. They're violating the law. Okay. You guys got that here? Well, actually, they're, the state is being sued because of their inhibitance for uh, inhibiting the Second there, Amendment. Yeah. You like go there? Because only three people have that there. license right now. There. I'm <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Maybe I start intimidating you guys. I'm not intimidating anybody around drinking a cup of coffee. Well, really, oh, okay. by federal okay. federal court. <laughs> federal court. It, it's, it's stated if you could do something that I can't do, it's tyranny. Have you seen the state constitution? Our state constitution, section 10. Education? Put that in the caution tape. Is anything here stored? Is this stored? Okay. Now I was sleeping. He said I had to leave. I was like, alright, go back to sleep. And that's when he started shitty. No, no, no. It's the Constitution, right? It's the Constitution. If I'm not lying or showing you something that's false, and this is word for word that's in the state Constitution, what does that say? Is that the entire um, 
This section right there, that is section 10. That is all of it right there. And the definition that was given by the state is sitting right in the very front section here. This whole entire thing. This whole thing is for that. So when you look at that, now you guys understand. That's the same as their statement, right? Right? You like enforce it on me, but not them? Stop to it. Yeah, which law are you going to enforce? Who right. are you going to enforce the law for? Who do you protect, man? Who do you serve? Who do you serve? That's the Sorry. question. They serve the rich. Police serve the rich. Put your fucking assholes in orange dress. We That's demand you serve. protect the poor. We do demand you protect the poor. We don't have an issue with you guys. And the freedom of speech. To and do the freedom to peaceably assemble. Injustice alert. You like being a part of a criminal organization? That's fun for you? <laughs> City workers, tell your supervisor. Okay, we are on day day 199, raid number 20. <laughs> One more day, guys. We had 200 days. <laughs> Bicentennial tomorrow. Come join us. <laughs> <laughs> what is the director of the Department of Facilities and Maintenance? He makes $112,000 a year to do this. It's a cabinet position under Mayor Carlisle. He has to grovel and do these kinds of things to maintain his $112,000 a year cabinet position. <laughs> Following him around is Trish Morikawa, coordinator of the Office of Housing which is supposed to prevent homelessness and to help the homeless and not treat them like criminals as like she is doing now. The two follow each other around the way sorrow follows error. <laughs> Does it really take 30 people to confiscate one chair? <laughs> one chair has well, been confiscated. That's a special chair. Zelda sat in that chair. And he's got swords and spins around. Eight big graphics. I would say no. One chair is in violation of order. Come on, okay, come on, come on. What's the Zelda tune? Yeah, it's just his music, right? Yeah. You're Mr. Zelda. Does he have a tattoo? Okay, so that's a Zelda chair. That's a Zelda chair? That's a Zelda chair. That's a special... Oh, man! Well, they got a bag of garbage. That requires 30 fucking people and half the HPD. Here's a fucking idea. Instead of you guys being paid to do this stupid shit, why doesn't the city use that money for social services? Holy I'm really sorry that this picture's bouncing and screwed up all over the place. It's been an exciting few minutes. You guys, if you've been uh, watching the whole time, you know why. I was more concerned on uh, telling Santos where to go. And I've left him along, uh, alone for a long time now. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, anyhow, we're on day 199. Uh, this is raid 20. And as you can see, they've quarantined this whole little area off and called it a construction zone. That this is not a crime scene. That it's a construction zone. And that's why we have red tape. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> but anyhow, so with red caution tape, now we legitimize an actual reason of why they're doing this. Because it's construction. So here soon, we're going to see them fix those chairs that are broken that is actually hurting people when they sit in it and falling apart. Or we're going to see that they're going to fix this wall that has holes in it and, is fall and falling apart. Or, we're going to see them fill in the holes that they created the last time they came through with the bulldozer. Or, uh, we're going to see a safe street episode here. And they're going to pick up the whole entire road and the sidewalk and everything. And we're going to have a bike lane that uh, also allows skateboards. And uh, Baratania is going to be a much safer, nicer street on this one half a block. Uh, yeah. I doubt any of that's happening, so I don't know. But they say I'm, that uh, I'm not allowed to uh, uh, abide by the state constitution of Section 10, the Kanawha Mahala 
Hoy and what? I'm sorry, what? What? Okay. Anyhow, I thought you said something to me. But anyhow, so back to what I was saying. <laughs> Uh, well, anyhow, we have uh, the Lot of the Spoiler panel in, uh, in Section 10. Uh, I got this little uh, pamphlet, I guess you would say, right here. That, uh, zoom in and see if you can see. Kind of by Mama La Hoy. Uh, the Law of the Splinter Paddle in the state of Hawaii. Oh, man. Oh, so, anyhow, the, in section uh, 10, oh, it describes the whole guys. thing, and it's real funny. I, I don't know if you can see it, but it says right there. I'm so, I'm so uh, honored to be in the presence of people. The people who were crimes. Yeah, the state shall not oh, have God. power to oh, provide. Oh, shall have, right? Yeah, the state shall have the power to provide for safety oh, it wasn't of the people for from crimes against persons and property. So, yeah. So it, it says that we can't have these crimes. It says they can't wake us up. It says they can't do. What has the tag? What's going on? The shopping cart. I don't think that was tagged. The shopping cart? I don't think we had a shopping cart here. He wasn't, he wasn't here. He was on that another area. Oh. Okay. I can see that one. That's, you know, that's cool. At least he explains. Okay, I mean, you know, that's all we How want. How many people does it take to take a chair? Well, to I, video, told you, I told you, I told you, that's a Zelda chair, <laughs> and in an Atari 2600, what is it, 8-bit, 8-bit format, he had a sword and spun around with it, whoosh, and, and like, it's dangerous, dude, and this is a construction zone, and we don't need little 8-bit, 2D, dimensional stabbing dudes that spin around with swords for a chair. So we protect ourselves. It's or not a golden chair. You can't sell it. I don't know what the point is. Well, you know, you could say that they placed the golden chair here to see if we were smart. And really, it's every every color, but whatever color it is. So effectively, it could be gold if you sold it to a blind man. But, you know, they know this. I'm not going to deal with this shit. At least they're, they're paying attention to the fiberglass uh, chair. It's a construction zone, right? Are you going to fix the chair? The bench is in need of help. <laughs> Did you just tag your own bench? No, no. It's concreted down. I think it's supposed to stay there. No, they, they put that there because that's where they retrieve some of the items. So that way the person knows where to pick it up. So that, that's what's going on there. I don't think they would. They're gonna try and steal their bench. It's concreted in. They, they, their chair's broke. They don't want it. Think, they only want other people's. Twenty-four hours. Can you remove it? You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey! No! What the hell, guys? It's construction zone. Hey. He doesn't have a hard hat. Can't fucking be here. Nobody can be here. This is bullshit. Have some compassion. Get through. Give him your hard hat. Oh my. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I have no beef. <coughs> I don't. But. No, nah, he's actually God, cool. This is bullshit. You this know who he is. Bullshit. Nobody That'd else be can be through here, right? No, fuck this. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> Hey, you're letting other people be in here. Get back now. What the fuck, I'm man? You're playing. letting other people be in here. No, if you're going to fucking remove me from the park, everybody needs to be gone. So what? I got no beef with you, man. We actually no, know him, no, so... This is fucking bullshit. No! Hey, you're letting other fucking people go. You know, you've already broke the precedent, man. I'll make my own choice.
No, you allowed, I don't want to fucking hear it. You guys allowed somebody else to go through here and kick us out. That is discriminatory. So, so being that he was in a wheelchair and there's what? a sidewalk. For what about him Mikey? Him, you you kicked him out? Actually, we what know about him. Mikey? He's someone that hangs out here, so okay. you just allowed him. Okay. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> just saying, you know, you don't have to get all No, this is bullshit. What about Mikey? Why isn't he allowed in there? He's in a wheelchair too. You're going to pass through and go through, I'll let him go through. You want to drive through? You want to go through? <laughs> Can I drive through? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's fucking discriminatory and it's selective enforcement. And it's all camera. I feel I need to drive through by the wall. <laughs> well, I believe they blocked this off, so this effectively made this walkway. Really? Why not? What if I, this what if I, what if I crawl? Can I crawl? Well, if they can block... You are allowing other people to come in and out of the park as they please, but you specifically singled us out to remove us. How do you fucking justify that? You can't. It's bullshit uh, and you know. Well, you it, wonder why we got a fucking beef with what's going on, and it's because of shit like this. Because it's parts. And I'm able to you check for baggage and, and keys. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the bluegrass going. Oh, tough shit. <laughs> All right, tough shit. Don't worry, they're gonna grow up and get harassed by you soon enough. We had the plant though. We got. We, we, we were able to save the plant. Yeah, that's good. The plant makes it. Kevin, better luck next time. <laughs> you just have to kill the pepper plant. Believe me. <laughs> Don't worry. And at least when they hear it, now, at the people that are going to fuck them over later in life. Yep. You Who's wonder why the leader of the, the band that's made for you and me? And it's shit like that. You can say O C C U P Y. We are occupied. Is in the course of your duties right no. now. You are being discriminatory and collectively removing people from a public park while allowing other people to go to the park. I like how they're going through every individual item there. I know there's a lot of excitement going on down there, yeah, but. Is this legitimate? Can they do this? When did they become airspace controllers? <laughs> I mean, I know Santos thinks he's 10 foot tall, but... Santos is the Sergeant Lawrence Santos, Larry Santos. In an Aloha shirt, uh, they <laughs> sometimes call them Aloha police. Um, but Exciting time. Day 199, raid 20. We will uh, get so good at this, we'll end up on like... What is it? What is that one stupid uh, Hawaii Five O? There we go. We'll have the whole cast of crew down here disrupting Occupy with Hawaii Five O down here. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Why five O showing up and all their turbo? Okay, here, here's, here's, okay, just so you guys know, the legitimacy of this, even though they're not enforcing Bill 54 itself, they did enforce the blocking of all this. And if this caused you undue stress or anything, and you fall down on the ground and say you need a hospital, it's at their expense. Oh, oh and, and they're liable for it. You're not. 
Because this is what they've declared. This is their action. Good idea. So, just to make sure everybody is understanding, we're not stupid either. Okay. <laughs> Well, like I was just explaining to all the officers down there that we're not stupid. And even though they say that they're not enforcing Bill 54, they are enforcing the the boundaries which holds people back. And with that enforcement, by evicting you out of your home and keeping you from your area, this and that, it causes you undue stress and you fall over, you are able to call for a police at the city's expense. Right. Or not the police, sorry, uh, the ambulance. And uh, the, the medical care and everything is under the Yeah, what is that? That's all from that one dude? I think so. I saw him looking through clothes. They have pictures of inventory and stuff. There are kids' toys in there. Wow. I don't know who's Well, it can't be really ours because we had nothing out yeah. here. No, we didn't have it. So, that's interesting. That's, that's jacked up. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> here. I have two cameras on me and a bullhorn. Because you're a badass. <laughs> <laughs> what we lost is nothing. Day 199, the longest running Occupy encampment in the Occupy movement worldwide. Good job, guys. Wait, 20. Woo! <laughs> hey, 25th, we got a little uh, thing going on. You guys want to join us, you can. I mean, show up when you're not invited. Might as well be invited, right? <laughs> you know, this is my legal address in office, and you're stomping my grass on an inefficient way. I, I'm not liking this. You're disrupting my dirt. <laughs> Chris is actually a member of the uh, neighborhood board. This is his residence address. He resides here. The police violated the law of the clinic cattle by wrongfully everyone out. Uh, they're sending uh, tweets and stuff. I can't see it because I'm, I'm using a couple of hands. <laughs> Who's the leader of the band that's made for you and me? I might put this back uh, on myself. I think, you know, it stayed on, so I might have some good Oh, there you go. Cool deal. It's always good. The uh, next door, on the little academy bar, is the former man from the band of the Catherine and Cook, one of the first get a big O. If you don't steal enough, you get a tent, you get police routes. Total shit. Well, I, I didn't really appreciate how Santos lied to me. I was talking to him, and then when he starts... I noticed you know, a little bit of a... You guys had like a little conflict going on. Well, yeah, he lied to me. You know, I said, can I ask you a question? He's like, yes, but we need to get out of here. And I'm like, okay. Can, can I ask you while we walk? He said, yes. So we start walking, and next thing you know, he starts screaming at me and starting shit and telling me to get out of here and everything else. I'm like, okay, then fuck you. You know, you want to disrespect me, I'll disrespect you, you know. Be right with me, and I'll be right with you. Well, now they at least pushed one person away. <laughs> it shouldn't have to be like that. <laughs> oh! This isn't the 1920s. We I, do have recording equipment. I I just don't like how they took someone's life in jeopardy. They need they need hard hats, but other individuals don't. You are dismissed.
<laughs> you are all relieved from duty. <laughs> Good job, guys! Woo! Yeah! I'm so glad that you got a couple chairs and a passing car. Oh, man! Good day. Good You guys are my hero. One Thelonious holding chair. Oh, I am so chair. glad that our taxpayer money is Bad boys, today. bad boys. So what yeah. you gonna do? Woo, what woo. you gonna do when they Good come job. for you? Bad boys, Good bad boys. Job, yeah! You're awesome! Oh, thank you for your wonderful service. <laughs> Fucking asshole! <laughs> oh. He could have been better spent on social services for the city, but no! Fuck the mentally handicapped! Fuck the homeless in the city! Let's go run around and steal shopping carts! <laughs> Fuck the traffic! Well, some of these shopping carts are made really rather well. I mean, <laughs> who gives a shit about everybody trying to get down Baratania while you got it blocked off so you can take a shopping cart? Did you see Jackass? That was a good movie. They slammed those people in, in, in those carts in the trees and. Good job, Chris! And they, yeah, I'm they, so glad you're here. They stay together and shit. Oh, oh man! Hello, Trish. Yeah. Hi. Thank you for your service. <laughs> the city is a safer place now that the city opened. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I am so glad to see our city at work. Uh, oh, the destruction of traffic for what? <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> This is great. They just legitimize the whole reason of why we're here once again. The city owns the telephone pole. <laughs> Did you get that on camera? No. <laughs> the city owns the telephone pole. When are you gonna finally remove that hospital sign? It's been tagged like eight times. <laughs> it's an eyesore. <laughs> it's an eyesore. And I don't enjoy it. We paint it. I just put a paint on it. As you see, they just they ended up tagging things. They took like two chairs. <laughs> All of this for two chairs. We gotta love it. <laughs> huh? Oh, that book! Oh my God, dude! <laughs> Well, we'll end up having to come back and wait more taxpayer money. Why don't we spend that money on social It's a little timely, but yeah, it's going to get the job done. You see, these people will not stop what they're doing until you actually take them to court and show, and show a judge that what they're doing is unlawful. Right. Just because they made that law, that doesn't make it makes it lawful until that, that, that law is lawful. Right. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing trying it to make sure it's legitimate. And <laughs> they won in 199! Ray 20! Woo! <laughs> I'm about the business, let's go. You think I'm afraid to play and I live on the fucking street. <laughs> I don't hide nowhere. Oh, look at there, the little cutie yeah, coming support. Yay! Bye! So long! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Get out of here, you fucking garbage! Lots of enthusiasm. They took our free speech chair. Yeah. I was sitting in it and they made me get up. I was hoping somebody was going to be here on this side to film it as it happened. Okay, but you guys were tied off that end. Right. Oh, well. There will always be another day. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm showing this off. Another day, another year. This recording is...